What you doing, John? Putting up your windows. Got to put them windows up. Oh, we've angered the gods again. Hey, Jack White, how are you all doing? It's a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, it was. It's the close of the day now. And I know it's awfully late to be hanging one's laundry, but, uh, you know, it's been hot lately. I figure if it keeps up, you know, this stuff will be dry in the morning, probably. If it doesn't, I ever show you my best shirt. <laughs> if it doesn't keep up, then well, good. We could use a cool down, that's for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. So yesterday, actually, uh, in the house. It's right around dark and uh, someone <clears throat> beeps me on the phone message. and it had a number there but it didn't say the name so if I didn't know who it was they asked me how I was doing and what not you know started up some small talk I'm like I'm trying to figure out who it is they smell good you know they so I'm thinking, that's ah, a girl, it's a girl. So I, she said something, I forget what it was. Oh, I, is, are you the Buckeye boy? And I said, yes, ma'am. Yeah, so, turns out it wasn't a she, it was one of the bikers. They were pretty good with it, it was a grammar and writing skills, you know. And, uh, I was very delighted to find out it was this guy. Some of you might realize or recognize. Nate goes by the name of Photo Easy. You guys remember Photo Easy? Back in the day? Oh, well, that was the good old days back then. That was all moto vlogging. Remember? Remember when it was all moto vlogging? Yeah, that's pretty special, pretty special times. Yep. Oh, yeah. But, uh, we uh, just had sort of a quick BS session. And that was probably my highlight of the night. Talking to an old friend, yeah. Yeah. I told him I'd mention him in, in the video, upcoming video. Since he watches my videos, I don't know what's wrong with him. I mean, I always knew something wasn't quite right upstairs with him, but man. You watching all my videos? Oh my. Probably ought to go to some kind of institution or something. <laughs> yep. This line here's been hit real hard with a piece of lumber. 
couple of times to come down from the top of the structure. And it's got this thing just drooping something terrible. Stretched it all out of shape. But I can still make use of it. And this tree here is over here on this side. Look over here, you're looking the wrong way, people. Look at that place. See the tree? That tree, you know, we didn't think it was going to get that big. We had uh, doubts it was even going to survive. We had trouble with it. But we didn't worry about putting the clothesline too close to it. Look at her. She bushed all out and got real healthy. Big surprise. But now when I put my clothes up, my laundry up, I got to leave a gap there. Yeah. That or I put uh, short stuff there. That's another thing I'll do. Like, you know, wash rags and socks and stuff. Yeah. I'll have to give you all a lesson on hanging laundry. I know, I know that's, that's the reason everybody tunes into this channel. For the laundry hanging, the washing and drying videos. Especially this high-tech do-it-yourself solar clothes dryer I got. I know that's Something most of you guys only could wish you could afford. Yeah, well, we had some breaks. Well, some of us have it all. Some of us have it all. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Navy Thomas said I needed an Asian girl out here planting rice. And then he deleted his comment. Why'd you go and do that? You know, you ever stopped and thought about it? Every every race has its prejudice, you know, has its bigotry and whatnot. And the funny thing is, if it's anything but white, we accept it. Yeah, well, blacks can be racist against whites, and Hispanics can be racist against Jews, and whoever, you know, can be racist against Asians. As long as they ain't white, it's okay. You know, I had an ancestor that fought in, in the Civil War, and he was locked up in Andersonville, and uh, almost killed, was almost killed because the conditions were so bad there, and uh, he actually had to, to survive, pick corn out of the guard's poop to have something to eat, I'm telling you, and he come out of that with two or three different diseases that were caused by various things he came in contact with while he was over there imprisoned for fighting. Fighting for equal rights, you know? But, uh, should I take credit for that? Should, should I expect people to say thank you to me because of what he did? What'd that been? That, uh, my, seem to be dad's dad my grandpa and grandpa's dad's my great grandpa and it was his brother be yeah great grand great grandpa's brother i believe it was daniel grew you can look it up it's in the book called the great heroes of the civil war and anyway uh man i got dirt all over the back of me from pulling those those uh 